Hello and welcome to the first ever PyMC Labs video. This is going to be the first of a series of many different tip and trick videos, but we will also have some longer videos where we dive into case studies in a little bit more detail. In this first video, what we're going to do is to look at a fun little plotting hack that we put together at the request of a client. So a key step in building a Bayesian model is specifying your prior distributions. And so one of the stages that you have to go through is to pick what distribution you want to use and to pick what uh, parameters um, you might want to use for that. So depending on the distribution you're talking about, it can actually be quite difficult to intuit, you know, just from memory to visualize exactly how um, the distribution and the parameters uh, really come to life. And so what we what we did here was to create a handy little plotting function that allows you to really quickly and conveniently plot PyMC distributions. And so what we've got here is a Jupyter notebook. You can go and download it. The link is in the description. So after importing PyMC3, all you really need to do is copy and paste this code. And what it does is it adds a plot method to all PyMC continuous distributions. And we can use this in a really simple way. So we can get a plot out in one line. So here we've got a normal distribution with our desired parameters. We're calling the plot method and boom, nice visualization. We can then like get an intuitive sense for does this capture my prior beliefs? What you might also want to do, for example, is to uh, compare and contrast different types of distributions. So here we've got a normal and a Laplace distribution. What you might also want to do, for example, is to plot um, multiple versions of a normal distribution, but with different parameters. So you can do that, um, no problem. And that allows you to really quickly iterate and find the, both the distribution and the parameters you want to use for your priors. So this really builds up uh, model building. So I've shown you this so far for continuous distributions, but you can also do this with discrete distributions. So in the same way, if you copy and paste this code into your Jupyter notebook, you will get the functionality for discrete distributions. So I don't know about you, but um, I can't always conjure to mind what a binomial distribution looks like with an n of 10 and a p of 0.2. And so we can do a nice, quick, one-liner, boom. That's what it looks like. How cool is that? And again, you can do the same thing with multiple plots. So I hope you've enjoyed that quick video. It was a uh, really cool, fun, like part of a project that we had with a client and uh, they were pretty happy with it. It allowed them to iterate through their model building process even faster. So I hope you've enjoyed and feel free to come back for more awesome PyMC content.